Hey yo, how's it going everyone and good evening here. Alright guys, so today in this video I want to show you guys how to play Pokemon Unite using this wireless chip keyboard right here on your Android phone with Panda Moss Pro. And so as you guys can see here, this is Panda Moss Pro application. You can download on the description below or you can find it on the Google Play Store. So if you guys wanted to play Pokemon Unit using keyboard and mouse without getting banned, you can use Panda Moss Pro right here. And first of all, we need to activate the Panda Moss Pro here. And I will show you how to do it without using PC, without root, and without using USB activator. On my other video, I will put the link of the video on the description below. You guys can check it out. Alright so yeah, now let me connect the keyboard first. And as you guys can see here, I'm using OTG here. And this is the receiver. Let me connect it to my phone here. And then let me turn this on. So yeah, as you guys can see here, it's connected now. I guess after your Panda Moss Pro is activated and your controller or your keyboard is connected, now let me add the games here. Let me show you. Click add games here and then search for Pokemon Unite and then click add here. There you go. Now just open the game here and then yeah. Alright guys, so we are in the gameplay right now. Now let me show you how to settings the keyboard to control the movement and many more on the game. So yeah, so you guys can see here. Now if you guys wanted to know how to settings the keyboard, first of all you need to click the panda icon right here. So you guys can see here. Alright, and then click the plus icon here. Alright, so first for the movement, select compass here and then drag it to the analog position on your screen. And you can change the button if you guys want. For example, I'm gonna use this button right here for movement so let me change it all right up down and left right all right now for the skill just select this icon again and select key here all right and drag it to the skill position on your screen for example i'm gonna use this button right here there you go and for another skill just drag it here and you can use any button that you guys want on your on your keyboard so yeah so let me map the game so yeah you can use any button on your keyboard and for the scoring i'm gonna use the f9 here there you go the opposition i'm gonna use f10 here All right what else we got here for the shortcut i'm gonna use any button here so yeah, I think it's all good now. So yeah, now let me test the game using the settings here and let me show you some gameplay. So yeah, enjoy the gameplay. So yeah, as you guys can see here, we can move. We can use the skill. So yeah, this is really good because this is the cheapest control wireless you can find online. So yeah, what do you guys think? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, whoa, whoa. Where you go?
So yeah guys, that's the game frame. So what you guys think? So if you guys wanted to know how to activate Panda Mouse Pro or Panda Gamepad Pro without using PC, without root and without using USB activator, you can watch my other video. I will put the link on the description below. So yeah guys, that's it. You guys can add any more buttons that you guys want on your controller, on your keyboard, depending on what you guys want. And yeah, let me know in the comment below what you guys think. Is it better to use the touch screen or the using the keyboard or the controller? What you guys think? So let me know in the comment below and don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Alright guys, see you in the next video.